Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to Tech Block. Today we're doing an unboxing video of some coat hangers. Check these guys out, dude. Bought these on Amazon. They're cheap as hell. I bought like 30 of them. I think we got some other stuff in here too. We got another box beside me. This has, I hope, what is a doormat? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Kind of looks like a doormat that you'd put outside. Not inside. Can the door still open? Good. So we can still open the door. How does it feel? Okay. Feels okay. And another one. This is the design of the doormat. Wow. It's um, it's all rubber by the by the feel of it. It kind of looks cool, right? Although because it is rubber, I don't know if this should be indoors. I mean, I kind of try to buy a gray one so it kind of matches the color of the cushions, which it kind of does, but not really. It's, it's, it's a bit of a different shade. To be honest, I feel like they could work here, like by the two like opening doors here for the terrace or the balcony. And then I'll probably buy like a completely different doormat entirely for the actual entrance, which is down there. Or I might buy the same one. I don't know. This is going to be part one of building the new office. We're currently in the new office, I guess, or in the tech block setup room. YouTube studio thing. I don't really know what the hell to call this, man. It's the office, I suppose, but we have a bed. This will be removed today, I've been told, between midday and 2 p.m. And uh, we have a desk there. We have table legs, ready to go, but there's a bed and two bedside tables that need to be removed before we build the setup, because if we build the setup on top of a bed, that's not gonna be a good time, you know? It's not really gonna work out too well. So ideally, you know, we need this bed to get the hell out of here ASAP, Luckily that's happening today, and we're gonna begin building this table. It's gonna be pretty freaking sick, man. The table that we bought, by the way, Ikea Linmon, very, very cheap. Link in description, of course, if you wanna go pick it up yourself, I'll leave a link to Ikea as well as Amazon. So, you know, wherever you wanna buy the tabletop from, as well as the table legs, you can do, up to you, dude. The link should take you to whatever Amazon, you know, is next to you. So if you're in the US, it'll take you to the Amazon.com store. If you're in the UK, it'll take you to the Amazon.co.uk store. If you're in Germany, it'll take you to the Germany Amazon store and so on and so forth for all other countries, dude. Okay, well, there's really not much else I can do right now. It's currently 11.30 a.m., so still like the morning time. Midday has not even here yet, but hopefully the dude will come around soon. We'll disassemble the bed. We'll take it all out, dude. I don't know where the hell he's gonna put it. Uh, but you know, that's none of my concerns as long as the bed just leaves, leaves the apartment ASAP. That would be great. Now, as for where the table's actually gonna be going in the room, I'm thinking it'll probably go along this wall here because we have a window and kind of like, you know, a bit of space ooh, over here. So we can probably put, you know, the entire desk here and then the PC, I think will sit somewhere on this side of the table. Maybe we'll pick up some Ikea Alex drawers Perhaps two white ones or two gray ones. I don't know, man. We'll see what happens. Uh, but I'll probably end up picking up some IKEA Alex drawers as they're pretty darn good. And they will eliminate a very big problem with this IKEA Linmon desk. And that is table wobble, okay? Because when we build this desk, which we're gonna build it today in a few hours, I hope. Um, you know, when we attach the legs onto the desk frame, we are quickly gonna run into a problem of desk wobble. This is a very cheap desk, very cheap legs. So, it's not the most stable thing on earth. Ideally, you wanna put this tabletop on two IKEA Alex drawers, then there should be little to no table wobble at all. It should be a lot more stable. But for now, it's just gonna be the uh, IKEA Addo's legs. They're, they're like super, super cheap with the very cheap IKEA Linmon tabletop there. As for the rest of the room, we do have quite a bit of space to work with. Uh, we have like a coax cable there, a few power sockets here and there. And I really hope we have a few more like, you know, somewhere behind this bed, because if we don't have any more sockets there, that's gonna be a, a bit of a problem. But the great thing will be is uh, in my current setup back at home, we have, you know, uh, probably a dozen or so power extensions all daisy chained. Don't do that. Very bad idea. You might cause a fire if anything goes wrong. So um, in this setup, we can just put one big power extension and we're done. Pretty cool stuff. We don't have to daisy chain 10 freaking power extensions to get power across the whole room because the previous setup, the power socket layout in the room, very weird. Uh, this one should be good, I hope. I mean, at least we have two to work with. And um, I think I need to buy some cable trunking as well for the setup. And uh, one thing that I thought about buying, and I do feel like it's something that is quite necessary, is a floor mat and uh, not just any floor mat like the ones for like gaming chairs i guess there is actually a company called floor pad that make them so i might be picking something up from them as uh, the floors here they're like laminate or wood i don't know uh, but 
If we put the GT Omega chair on here with its freaking metal like rolly legs, yeah, <laughs> whatever they're called, um, I feel like it's gonna probably, you know, wreck havoc on this floor. So ideally we wanna put that GT Omega chair on some kind of floor mat, so I have to get that ordered in and then we should pretty much be ready to go. We have internet here now, everything's good. The upload speed here is just beautiful. I've ordered some antennas, by the way, for the LTE modem. Uh, so that should get set up pretty soon. I think the antennas will be here in the next day or two. There'll be another update on broadband. We're getting fiber, okay? Not only will we have 4G, we're getting fiber in this building very soon. I still need to find out who's providing the fiber. It might be City Fiber in Peterborough. It might be Open Reach, so like BT, Sky, or Demlock can give us VDSL internet. Maybe we'll even get like an FTTP or FTTH connection, AKA literally a fiber line to my front door. That would be beautiful. Um, so I don't really know who's gonna be providing it. Maybe it might be Virgin Media. I don't know. So I'll make a dedicated video about the whole networking setup and what the hell's going on with broadband and uh, how we're gonna be upgrading the internet even more up in here. Uh, so expect another networking video very shortly where we get a bit more in depth with what's actually going on with the broadband here. As at the moment we're rocking freaking ADSL, my guy. And uh, there's no router anymore. I've just, I've removed the modem. So I've removed all the routers from BT. As uh, so we don't have working broadband here. Instead, I've gone ahead and ordered a 4G modem or router from EE. And luckily we're getting amazing speeds on 4G, uh, like 50, 60 down, 50, 60 up. I'm pretty sure the download speed actually went up to like 85 or 82 megabits per second at one point. It's just real nice, man. Um, um, we have, I don't know, like half an hour or maybe two hours left until the dude comes over and takes the bed out. Then we can build a desk, have a good time, begin planning the setup out. Yeah, by the way, if you have any suggestions for the setup, please put them down in the comment section down below. I'd really, really appreciate it. Because all I'm gonna be putting in here for now is probably this white tabletop and just, you know, all the monitors, the PC, all that good stuff, we'll just go here. As for the rest of the room, like we have a decent amount of freaking space left. What the hell do I put there? Like we have another tabletop, like this sit stand desk from FlexiSpot, really lovely desk. Might put that like over in this corner where you can put some stuff there maybe, I don't know. Personally, I was thinking I should probably buy like, I don't know, like a couch or like a bean bag to put in the corner somewhere. I think that would be cool, I don't know. All right, so the next day, the bed and the two bedside tables have been removed. Let me show you what's going on here. We have um, pretty much a very empty room now. There's nothing going on here. We have a window and then um, nothing else. Over here, we got, you know, the walk-in wardrobe. Well, <laughs> the walk-in wardrobe, like the storage area, I guess, where I'm gonna be keeping all the boxes. We have, ooh, the Ikea Linmon table over here, the two meter one. This is 200 by 60 centimeters in dimensions. Then we have all the legs on the floor right there. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, apart from that, I think we should build a desk. Well, get it unboxed, right? Yeah, yeah. We got the desk here, very cool stuff. All right, we can leave it like this for now. We can grab all the legs and store them. Now this comes with all the screws. Ooh, I hope I have a screwdriver. I don't know if this comes with one. Do make sure you align everything so it should look a little something like this. We got all the screws, man. I really hope I have a screwdriver. I think I brought one over. Oh yes, I did. We did, we got this fix it. Okay. You're gonna put this thing right here. Then you're gonna just screw it in. I'm gonna grab a few more screws. And then you're gonna screw the leg in. That's it. There's one done. Cool. Then we also have some adjustment up here so we can kind of increase the height of it or decrease the height of it. Up to you. Right, I think I just thought of a pretty good idea. Because the bottom of these table legs are like plastic, I think what I'm gonna do is pick up some kind of like rubber pad to put beneath here so that the table sits on like, you know, some rubber pads instead of plastic. One, it won't scratch the, uh, the flooring here. And two, I think that's gonna add maybe a bit more stability to the desk and the entire desk will have, you know, less chance of moving about on the floor if it's on rubber pads instead of plastic. So I'm gonna look on Amazon, probably pick up some rubber pads. Right, but anyway, that's one table leg done. We got one, two, three, we got four more to go.
All right, the desk is all built. All we have to do is put the legs on. That's it, we're gonna flip it over, take off the rest of the packaging, and we're done. <laughs> this desk is so light, I picked it up with one hand. Like, it's genuinely, I'm pretty sure the inside of this desk is like cardboard or paper. It's, um, it's real light, it's a real cheap desk, very lightweight. But it's also not too bad, you know? It looks good, right? It, lo it looks good. Damn, dude. This is gonna be a sick setup, man. Let's move this closer to the actual wall. Okay. I think, yeah, 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 like all the way in the corner, probably. Damn, son. All right, the desk is there, it's all looking good. Uh, as for the PC, and as for the rest of the setup, what I'm gonna probably end up buying is two Alex drawers, the white ones. I think that'll look kind of good. Or maybe I'll go for a different color, I don't know. Please let me know in the comment section down below if you have any suggestions for what the hell I should do here. But, you know, we have a desk. I need to buy a floor pad for the, for the floor here where the chair's gonna be going. So, and uh, another thing I definitely need to buy is either a rug, a couch, or a bean bag, and or some sound foam. Because the echo in this room is unimaginably bad. Because we don't have any furniture in here. It's just a desk. There's no carpets or anything. It's all like laminate flooring. So the echo in this room as you can probably tell by the microphone, is very bad. Now, if I was using the normal microphone on my camera, it would be way worse. Um, but yeah, echo is something I really need to work on in this room, as I'm gonna be recording videos in the setup, of course. So ideally, we want good sound quality up in here and not like an echoey mess. But uh, there are some marks on the wall and stuff, I think from maybe a previous tenant that, that lived in this apartment. So I'm gonna have to probably like kind of paint over these bits. And uh, once we get all that patched up, uh, it's all gonna be good to go. We have two wall sockets over there. Brilliant location, right beneath the tabletop, man. Beautiful stuff. We can just mount like a power strip directly from those two wall sockets. Stick the power strip beneath the desk. Man, cable management's gonna be a breeze, dude. And then over here, we got two more power sockets. So we could maybe add an extension to the desk or if we ever get a bigger desk in the future, let's say the IKEA car will be and we maybe paint the whole thing white. We'll probably be looking at closer to being, you know, to this edge of the wall here. So we got some space to grow. We, we can maybe also add some kind of like cabinet here or maybe just like another desk where we can put the PC and stuff. I don't really know, man, because uh, all my monitors and my PC, I don't know if they're all gonna fit on this desk. Well, we might have to get like an actual second extension or something, because um, we have an ultra wide two 24 inch monitors and the PC and that all has to somehow fit onto this desk. Which I don't know if it will, hopefully it will. Uh, if it doesn't though, we can always just get like an Ikea Alex draw where we can put the PC on top of them. That'll pretty much be the plan there though. But damn dude, it's taking shape. Finally, we have a desk here, man. I've been living here for like a week now and we've had like no desk, no setup. So about time we move the setup over. Damn dude, it's gonna be so sick. As for the nano leafs, I feel like I might be buying more of them. For some reason, I think it would look really cool to have some nano leaf uh, like light panels right here as you like walk in. So let me show you what I mean. So as you walk into the office, we'd have like some nano leaf light panels over here in like some kind of cool design or something. Maybe I should do that. Maybe some more light panels above the setup or something. We're definitely gonna have to put some pictures up here and some sound foam and maybe buy like a carpet or something or like a rug because dude, the echo is so freaking bad. All right, apart from that though, thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for part two of building the new setup. Hope to see you in another video soon. Goodbye.